All the things that you think that you want, you aiming at the thing is actually in the way of you getting at it. Because I want you to see yourself as a pole. Most people think that you're a pole and these flies are going on and off the pole. This is your belief, this is your body, this is your story, this is your ex, this is your accomplishment. These are the things you're focused on. Most people, they think they are the thing. So when the ex is leaving, you grab it. You're like, no, don't leave. Or when the belief is bad, you're resisting it. But if you're the pole, you're just here. So instead of trying to get the job or trying to get the, the thing or you know, trying to nail the part or whatever, instead, this is weird, and I just realized how weird this analogy is, but make your pole bigger. <laughs> make your pole bigger by not needing those things, but still, that doesn't mean go meditate under a tree for the rest of your life. People think that. That's a way that they outwit themselves from meditating. Well, then I'll end up under a tree and be this thing. No, that's a great story that you told yourself as another escape from you meeting your soul because you can totally meet your soul and still be a part of this world and totally create and do all that stuff. It's totally doable and, it'll, and it can take your business through the roof. It can take your company through the roof. It can take your story through the roof, your relationship. Those are all byproducts. Most people, when we focus on the thing, we sacrifice ourselves. But if you focus on you, then you're connected to you, and then the byproduct is everything will always be taken care of every time. Your health will be taken care of much more, because if you're in alignment with yourself, you don't need to do addictive things. You'll be listening to your body. You'll go to sleep when it says to go to sleep, and you'll need much less sleep, right? Because you're not in an argument with yourself all day. I mean, if you're spending all day arguing with yourself in tents, of course you need eight hours, because your body's finally going, dude, you're insane, go to sleep so that I can stop having you hold on to everything, right? And then when you sleep, you finally let go. And the reason we have a hard time sleeping is because we keep trying. The questions you asked, what do I do, how do I do that? Imagine if you said that when you're trying to sleep. The only way to sleep is to let go, is to not try. And then people go, how do I let go? My answer is by stop holding on. The thing that you're holding on to isn't a part of you in the first place. If I have to let go of something, I actually have to pick it up, right? If I let go of this piano cord, I have to pick it up to let go of it. So when people go, I gotta let go of that thing, you just brought it back into your life because every second's a new moment. And in that new moment, you don't have the thing anymore. So if you don't have the thing anymore and you go, I gotta let go of it, you just brought it back up into your life. So stop picking it up. It's not a part of you anyway. If it was, you wouldn't have to have a hard time letting go of it. I don't need to keep my arm on all day. This is a part of me. I don't go, oh, I gotta make sure it doesn't leave because it's attached to me. Everything that I'm supposed to have is still attached to me, right? Everything I'm not supposed to have, it can go, and then if I let it go, some of them will totally come back. That's something I feel with love. I have a big belief about relationships that love liberates. I, can't, I have a hard time being like, I love you, here's all the things you can't do. I can't do that. It's really weird to me. I don't have that ability. But I believe that if I go to a place of love, I love you, da da da, and then they, I, they would choose to be with me because it's just a choice, because that feels better. I'm looking forward to meeting someone who knows that, but that's me that feels that way. <laughs> but if you're in a place of liberating and loving and going in to out, there's no control. I don't want someone because they're scared of me. <laughs> I want to liberate. So let's liberate ourselves a little bit more and let's do this exercise. Are you guys ready to try this exercise?